your protocols be like in the perfect world? Oh, okay, okay, wait a minute. Like, okay, phone calls are is a dollar productive activity, yeah. right? What else is a dollar productive activity? Um, I mean, I, the way I've done business, every lead that I got is from a uh, sphere of influence. Um, so phone calls and door knocking. Okay. I, I've done that, you know, where I go and start. Do fighting. you want to? Do you want to door knock? I, 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 I don't mind it. If I see something, I'll stop and I'll go and talk to that person right away. Right, right. I don't mind it. I, I, I'll do. Um, but what I'm saying is, do you yeah. want to incorporate door knocking and have it like a time activity? Yes, you yes, okay, yes, okay, yes, okay. yes, yes. All right, so we got yes, calls, like cold calls. Yeah. Yes. We got sphere calls. Yep. We got door knocking. Yeah. Okay, the cold calls will break that down into expires and circle prospect, which is GL leads. Yeah. Okay, so this is dollar productive activities, okay? So this is kind of like the prospecting and stuff, okay? Mm -hmm. This is perfect because like this literally, like you need you need like two yeah. main sources of prospecting that you feel like work best for you and then like a third one that's like a secondary. So like Sphere is the number one. I, 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 I've done most 90% of my business is Sphere. Right. And but what we want to do is, is think about this though. Yeah. What if 90% of your business, what if that 90 becomes 10 or 20% of your business? And then you add another, you multiply your business because you've got 80% yeah. of your business that comes from new clients. Definitely. Think about how massive your business would be, yeah. right? So that's what we want to do. Like right now, this is 90%, that's right. right? We need to take it to where it's the same amount of volume, but it's actually accounting for about 20% of the business. Yeah. Whereas you bring this in as 80% of your business, right? And now, you know, you multiply your business by five. Yeah, right, so and, and but what's so cool is, is this eighty percent, those people now become your sphere. That's right. And then over time, your business goes back to ninety percent. See, it's good that you're ninety percent because that's where you want to end up. Yeah. But you want to make your sphere way bigger. See what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, you want to grow. Right, so. right. So like you, we're in the we're in the stage now yeah. where you understand the sphere. Yeah. Ninety percent of your business comes from there. Ninety percent of my business comes from my sphere, which yeah. is the database that I built over the years. So we're in the building stage where we take this to build a database right. to where we do, we do want to end up here, but right now we need to be at 820 until we get to the level of income we want. All right, so, so now we have to start working this perfect schedule in a perfect world. Okay, now marketing and branding, right? You're gonna do the weekly email. That's right. And so I'll have, help you with that. As soon as you get I your have, template. I have, the, I have them, I speak with them today, I have one. So as soon as you get your template done, um, well, let me know what they do. Cause they may say, okay, we'll have it done in three days or something. So yeah. let me know what they do. If they have it ready, let yeah. me know. Okay. And like, we'll meet in the morning or something, right? If it's gonna be a couple days, then we'll just meet next Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Like we have been at eight o'clock and then I'll sit down cause that's the day I'll do mine too. And then we'll do it together and we'll boom, we'll send it out. At that time, whenever we sit down to do your weekly email, we'll talk about line deaths versus constant contacts. Mm -hmm. We'll look deeper in that, decide how we want to handle that. Yeah. Okay. Today, let's get your schedule down. All right. But what else? What other marketing and branding are you thinking right, about? Right now, uh, marketing and branding. I, I don't have right now nothing. I just call. I mean, Listen. Okay. Right now, are you doing any kind of social media? Um, not as much as I did. Okay. Okay. Like whenever I, I I had a listing, I you know, I market that. Anytime I do, uh, um, you know, something else, like for example, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, whenever I do like a listing or something, or I, I I've done I've done, uh, you know, I market it in Facebook or something. Okay, so check this out. Yeah. Like, you kind of come here and we meet on Wednesdays. Yeah. That's kind of like a thing. Like, we're going to be every yeah. Wednesday at 8 o'clock before our meeting. Mm -hmm. you, you can kind of get yeah. some one-on-one -on -one time every Wednesday, right? And then, you know, you might sit through our meeting or whatever. You know, let's take Wednesday. It's kind of like, okay. So, let's take Wednesdays, like, meetings in the morning. You know, learn some stuff. Meet with Ricky. Do some one-on-one -on -one time, right? And let's take the rest of the day Wednesday to be our follow-up day. 
right? So the next one is a follow-up. Yes, yeah, every right Wednesday there. is a follow-up day. Right Whereas you kind of like, you know how like agents are kind of more reactive than anything? You know, like their phone rings, they jump three feet in the air, yeah. and then they just go put out that fire. Even though what they're doing may be the most solid productive activity, they leave that to go handle this. Mm -hmm. Let's do that all in, all Wednesday, all day Wednesday, every Wednesday. Let's react to everything that comes in. Let's look through our list and see yeah, who we need to follow up yeah. with. Let's take that day to be a reactionary agent. Mm -hmm. Okay? Like just free, free fall. Like do what you want to do, follow up, mm -hmm. put out fires, whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay? Monday and Tuesday, right? Eight. 12 8 to 12 8 to 12 is phone calls yeah. right and what I want you to do is I want you to talk to your wife I want you to talk to me I want you to talk to your mom your dad your family everybody and say don't call me on Mondays or Tuesdays between 8 and 12 unless it's an absolute emergency right yeah. like this is the most important thing that you can yeah. do Right, you cannot be disturbed. Nothing gets in the way of this. Emails come in, who cares? You know? Now, now, remember the, the most important things that you can do too, right? Writing offers, showing property, negotiating, and listing appointments. Right? Mm -hmm. Or signing listings, right? This right here trumps everything. So if somebody wants to write an offer, show a property, negotiate something, or list something, that's going to be more important than making phone calls. If somebody wants to do that during these hours, more important. Only this though, not repair addendums, not um, let me send me a list of properties, none of that, yeah. right? But if it's one of these things, we're going to stop everything we're doing to do one of those things. But everything else is, who cares? Okay. Um, so when we're here, we're good. It's okay to skip that for one of these, right? But it's not okay to skip this for anything else. Most important thing in the world, right? All right. And then I would say, let's do that also Thursday and Friday, same thing. Now, if somebody says like right here, you have a, you have a, let's just say you have an appointment right here. Okay. Let's start taking control of our uh, schedule. Let's tell this person, hey, we can't, I can't meet till after lunch. i got a meeting. Is that okay? And they're like, yeah, cool. Boom. You put them at 1 o'clock, right? And now you can make your calls. If you say, hey, let's meet after lunch. i got a meeting in the morning. Oh, the only time I can meet is 9. That's it. Okay, I'll move some stuff around. So at least you attempted to, to control your, your schedule. Yeah. And then if they say no, and that, it's like they can only meet at 9, boom, you can meet them at 9. And then you skip that call session Thursday, not feeling bad. Because you try to control your schedule, they decline, they needed to meet you at that time. Most of the time they're gonna to conform to you though. Yeah. Right? If you ask, most agents don't ask. They just say, Oh, I'll meet you at nine, knowing that, oh, I've got to make calls and they don't even try to have control of their schedule. Your clients will conform to you ninety percent of the time. Yeah. Right? So 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 think about it when you're scheduling your week and who you're meeting with and what's going on and everything, right? So every Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, calls to lunch. Mm -hmm. Do not disturb me unless it's one of these or somebody in your family is sick, right? And that's it. And then Wednesday is kind of your free fall day where you do what all agents do every day of the week, which is just react to stuff all day. You know, you're keeping good notes of people you're following up or people you're calling where you have this list of leads, right? And then you take Wednesday to kind of go through that list of leads that you've been working. Who do we need to follow up with today? Stuff like that. And you take this day to follow up. And then right here in the afternoons, you can do dealer's choice because you, you, you can do your weekly email this day, right? Every Wednesday, you and I can sit down and work on our weekly emails together at 8 o'clock every Wednesday, right? Email. And then right here, these can also be your follow-up times where you're following up and being reactionary to things, right? Yeah. You can be follow-up reactionary after lunch every day, follow-up reactionary all day Wednesday, but morning times, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, unless this is happening, somebody can't move a meeting, or our house is burning down, this is do not disturb my calls. Boom, stick to this, bro, and stick to this right here. This is it. 
Okay, now, now let's now let's break down one more thing. Okay, what are we doing here? Okay, so here's your prospecting times. Okay, now you tell me when when do you want what day do you want to do, knock on doors? Friday. Okay. Door knock. Okay, what day do you want to call expires? It's probably Monday. Okay. Is there like a usual time? They, they, they call eight to twelve. No, it doesn't matter. You're calling. You may be calling five and then, year and then old expired. And then and then it, and then I could just do like a range of of of. I could do any. I could do all of them. Just it doesn't matter the range because I know. For example, like. Oh, you mean like price like, ranges and stuff? No, 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 no. Watch. Uh, like for example, like this expired, right? And it, this expired today. These I, yeah. I was just looking at these. These are all expired. Call all of them. But should I do like the week, the whole week that expired? You know, you, listen, with Red X, you're going to yeah. go back five or ten years' work. I got you. You're going to call them that are a year old, yeah. two years old, last week, yesterday. Hey, you still, I got you. Listen, hey, it's Marco, DXP Realty here in Silver Hill. You always say the area that, that the house is in. Hey, this is Marco, DXP Realty yeah. in Orange Beach. How are you doing today? Yeah. Cool, yeah, man. I'm enjoying the day. Isn't it gorgeous? Cool. Listen, I won't take up too much of your time, but I saw your house was for sale last week. Whatever happened with that? Boom, dude. There it goes. That's it, man. It's end of the, end of the story, bro. They're going to tell you everything. You're going to connect, and you're going to figure out what they want to do. Even if they already sold it, it's like, oh, okay, well, cool. Where are you moving to? Is there anything I can do to help you now? Do you own any other properties in the area? You know what I mean? Like, we're trying to figure out who they are, what they got going on, and what we can do to help. Oh, that's right. You know, I don't care about that house. I care about them and, make, and creating that relationship so I can work with them for the rest of their life. You know what I mean? It's all about connecting. The expired is just your foot in the door. You know, I don't care about that list. Okay, so that's that expired. So then we got geo leads. We'll do that Tuesday. Geo leads, and then Thursday would be our sphere. Right. So now you got all bases covered. You're totally diversified. You come in. You do expires Monday. You do geo leads Tuesday. Do not disturb. Free for all. Free for all. Free for all. Thursday, you come in, totally focused, do not disturb. I'm working my sphere today, guys. Leave me the fuck alone. And Friday, we're door knocking. We're waking up in the morning, we're taking a shower, we're saying, oh, man, it feels good outside. Let's get out there in that sunshine and knock on some doors, right? Let's go have some fun and meet some people. Hello, how you doing? This is Marco. You know? Look at the smile. Um, Get out there and pick your neighborhoods out and get out there and door knock as many as you can before lunch. Go eat lunch and then say, hmm, okay, who do I need to follow up with? What deals do I have going on? Do I need to go show some property? Did I push a meeting off to after lunch so I can door knock today? What meeting is that? Let me put out all these fires. That's a great plan right there. Yeah, dude. That's the million plan, right? That's the million dollar. <laughs> That's the money. That's the money plan. That's the money plan. All right, you got it? Hey, listen, guys. Uh, in a few years, this is going to be a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, you're going to have it for money. <laughs> All right, I'm going to give it a haircut. Right, um, call, let me know about constant contact if they yeah. actually create the tempo for you today or not. If so, we can meet in the morning and we'll knock that out. Yeah. If not, we'll just meet next Wednesday for it. Call me if you need me. Thank you, man. God bless you.